going back to your stupid reactions. Our stupid reactions. Ours. Yeah, ours. Idiots. Don't be stupid. I mean, yes, be I'm stupid. I'm Corbin. As with me as always is this idiot named Rick. All is well. And we finally did it. We've done it! <laughs> We've watched our first ever, I think, it, yes, your first ever, right? First ever. India film. Bum, bum, bum! And we went with the highly, highly recommended, apparently India classic. From yes. 2009, I believe. Uh, Three Idiots. Which, we gotta be honest, part of the reason we went for that is because it's got the word idiot in it. And yeah. we love idiot. That's a stupid. fitting, uh, that's a fitting first <laughs> film for our stupid reaction. Why not? Um, so, uh, I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna kinda... Uh, Spoiler alert, I don't, I think all of you would have seen it already, so. Pretty much. But we're gonna talk about spoilers, because, I mean, you've seen this. <laughs> yes. So. Although I will say, for any of our American viewers who would watch this, and friends and family of mine, turn this off, and go watch it, and then come back and watch it so you don't get any spoilers. So, yeah, what did, what, what were your initial thoughts on thrice idiots i freaking loved it you freaking loved it i freaking loved it it was love it was very it was a very different experience from a american film very much so uh so it's like a, it was a, but, new, a new experience altogether but not bad obviously not at all and in, and, and in many respects it reminded me a lot of some rom-coms that we've got yeah but it's definitely not like a romantic comedy, first of all, because of its runtime. Yes, runtime. No romantic comedies here <laughs> go three hours. Three hours. <laughs> and the other thing was the interjection of the musical numbers, and I just gotta say, mm -hmm. I'm, a, I'm a music theater, musical theater lover, mm -hmm. and I haven't had as much enjoyment in a movie watching musical numbers like that in the midst of like that that dance and those two being in love with each other since La La Land, hmm. I yeah. freaking love this movie. I thoroughly enjoyed the the dance numbers, even though yes. I, I'm not a huge fan of random songs in films. A lot of people aren't. Uh, I, I, which, which these were very random because they say were, and I loved it. I mean, it's not random for India because apparently all most Bollywood films have. <laughs> Bring them on. Have a musical number. Bring them on. Life should be like that. You should be walking down the street and all of a sudden everybody bursts into song. But each one of them, uh, this one and then there was the... Um, the yeah, the all as well. Was, was <laughs> quite strange. I loved uh, how weird it was. it was. They're in the buckets. They're sitting there with the thing with the butts. And, yeah. oh, uh, and then there was this, the short one with the guitar. Yes. But what I, uh, I really loved about this film was... Obviously, at the beginning, I was like, what the heck is going on? <laughs> right. Because it was the initiation of the college. Right. And I was like, what? Yeah, the whole stopping the plane, initiation of the college. I'm like, okay, this is going to be like Animal House or something. Yeah. I don't know what we're getting into. But it was very weird initiations. Right. They were stamping people's butts. Yeah. And I was they, loving that. He was peeing on doors. Yeah, and he put the spoon underneath and the electric <laughs> charge went up. Which was really cool. That was fantastic. Um, <laughs> but then it... It was so different um, because obviously you would have these quirky, quirky things going on for a long, long time. Right. And then you just get this smack, smack in, the in the face. face. It, it, you're set up for, okay, here we go. It's going to be a long rom-com musical. It's going to be a lot of fun. They're working on the helicopter drone thing. They're flying it up to his room. And you're expecting him to be up there and totally surprised. And then, dude. Dude's hung. I, I, out loud, yeah. I saw that, I went, whoa. Yeah, so I was like, what the, okay. This. Yeah, okay. And then I was in. Yep, uh, <laughs> got like, me. This is cool. It was, what I, the best part about this film is how important the subject matter 100%, man. It is, of like, you don't see this kind of subject talked about in this quirky type of film in no. America. No, never. No, it's told in a drama point of right. view, if it's told. It's, or it would, you know what, it, it reminded me a little bit the closest I could compare an American film would be Ferris Bueller's Day Off. Yeah. But, but it's nowhere near as deep as this. No, it doesn't. Not even close. Because it's not even just that. And then, like, the, the pressure of... Obviously, we have some of that here in America, but it's obviously heightened in India, Way Japan, China. China. Massive. All those kind of things. They have very high suicide rates yep. for people in school because and of just the, owning, the pressures. Your family just owns you if you yeah. don't go that way. Um, and so the, the importance of telling this story, and I've heard in the comments that it changed... The way a lot of people think That's about awesome. the education system, which That's which I awesome. think is amazing. That's what film it, should do, and I hope it helps. Which is why I enjoy this film as much as I did. 
um, because of that. And then the, obviously this, obviously when you jumped out the window, but the, another really great part that I loved was when he was telling him, he's like, I'm not going to be an engineer. And they had that, the, the guy who wanted to be the photographer talking to he, his dad, kind of talking to his dad. And he dude. thought there was going to be this whole spat. Dude. Uh, and he was like, he was going to disown him. And then he was like, sell the computer. And you're I like, oh to... man, he's good. But then he was like, I'm going to help my son. Get a, no, get a camera. No matter how. Yeah. I thought that was. Okay. I got, I got a question for amazing. you because I think you're a lot. I, I, we're not alike in this way. I will cry at the drop of a hat. It takes a lot for Corbin to get teary eyed. No, I did not get teary eyed oh. once. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I cried. I cried multiple times in this movie. I've never cried in a film. <laughs> multiple times. I had to go get the tissue because I thought, okay, great. I'm going to be a mess multiple times throughout this movie. It, it I, might, I cried several times. It might be because you're dead. Uh, I have cried at movies since I'm a little kid, um, and but it does make a big difference being a dad and having been a teacher yeah. and, and thinking about how this is, you know, this isn't a true story, but it's based on true things that happen yeah. to people yeah. and true principles. And that scene with the dad just when, oh, when he says to him, uh, he gave him the example of somebody. He said, what is that person going to think? What are people going to think of you? Yeah. And he said, I don't care what people yeah. think about me. I care what you think about me. Yeah. Oh, I thought that was great. Um, is the whole message of the that Amir Amir Khan uh, put He's out. He's so good. Yeah, he is. He everybody was good in this. Uh, well, no. Um, oh, <laughs> oh, we'll get into that. Okay, we'll get into that. <laughs> um, but the whole message that he was like, follow your passion. Yes. My, he's like, my passion is engineering, which is why I'm so good. Right. Why I'm so, uh, it's easy for me. Right. You need to follow your passion. Your passion is photography. Right. Your passion is blah, 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 blah. And to just the fact that they were such about friendship and then following your passion, which is relatable to me. Um, obviously school, I, I never was good in school because I hated school. It wasn't <laughs> what I wanted to do. Right. I followed my passion. We're both actors. So mm -hmm. the following the, the, your dream that is education wise, it right. has no path that way. Right. Or what society expects you to do. Yeah. Most people are like, what's your, what's your backup plan? And mm -hmm. all that exactly. Kind of... Especially for actors. It's yeah. what's your plan B. And we're like, um, uh, yeah, we don't have, we don't a, plan have B. a plan B. Uh, this is what we want to do. Yep. Um, and so I love that message. I, once again, going back to Mir Khan, every time he was on screen, I was transfixed. He's absolutely mesmerizing yeah. to watch. So, and just and so good. Even though Sometimes his character was like really quirky and over the top. <laughs> yeah, um, which, it worked. Yeah, it did. I, I mean, there was stuff I, w I would have changed. Uh huh. <laughs> but um, I don't know if a lot of that had to do with like since this was told as a memory, he was kind of almost over the top because of the memories they had of. I know. Th I think it was over the top because I think that's part of uh, a comedy in India films, and I'm, we're just getting acclimated mm. to them. I think it is a nine-year-old. That's my yeah. great idea. It is a nine-year-old film. Uh huh. So, in, the, in the same uh, way that we've got in American comedy stuff, there's like vaudeville and shtick. Yeah. I think there's particular things with facial expressions and over-the-top stuff that isn't real that you get away with in comedies in India. Uh, some of the things that another thing that got me emotional mm. that was when. A uh, virus <laughs> mm -hmm. gives him the pen mm. at the end. Mm -hmm. That got me emotional. Gotcha. Uh, there were at least four places where I cried. At least four. And there were several spots where I thought, okay, wrap it up. This is a great ending. They didn't. I went, okay, okay, let's see. And then the next one was, I'm like, okay, yeah, I see that. You, it almost you needed that one too. It almost could have been three different films. <laughs> they could have been. They could have made a three part out of this in America. Almost every <laughs> almost every hour was about a different subject. Right. Yeah. Like you know, the first one was about the whole college, and then it was about the guy's attempted suicide. Right. And then it was about the pregnancy at the end. And but I still, for, I wouldn't change a thing. I I um, I, I love it. Just did you have any issues is. with it? Um. Uh, no, I was looking for stuff. Mm. Um, there were a couple of spots, and I'm talking maybe 2% of the film, where there were a couple of writing things I went, hmm. But for the most part, I thought the writing was great and profound in some spots. Mm -hmm. Especially, there was a moment where he's talking to Virus, I think, and he's talking about he doesn't like the pictures and the people getting put in here and up here, and he compared it to the cast system. I thought that was ballsy to mm -hmm. do in an Indian film to actually say that and call out the cast system I, I can't imagine how many other films actually have done that back then if this is one of the first that did that I don't know mm -hmm. but I know that that is a that's a big 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 deal mm -hmm. 
Um, uh, my only issues, I wouldn't even change. The runtime is way too long, but I'm kind of cool with it being as long as it was. Mm -hmm. It had five different endings, mm -hmm. but I, I love every one of the endings. Five different ones. Um, I believed them as a romantic couple. I, yeah, I both, the main two were really, yep. really good. I enjoyed them together. Um, I, I just, I liked this so much that I was telling my kids, I'm like, you guys, you need to watch this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna watch it with them. I want them all to see it because I think it's that good. Yeah. My biggest issues with it were um, a lot of acting. With who? <sighs> Where can I start? Because um, <laughs> I didn't have a problem with anybody's acting in it that stood out to me to the point of I was like- The first guy like who I had a huge issue with was the guy who was initiating that peed on the door that he put the thing down in the first part. Okay, yeah. He's a small part. He was He's a small part. I don't know if and a lot of these people are actually actors. Right. Of all the leads, of all the people in the main parts, the one who was, as far as I was concerned, the least of the believable and captivating ones was the 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 guy who was pursuing him to sign the thing and say, yeah, yeah, I've, I I've like excelled more than you. But he didn't annoy me. It wasn't like, oh my goodness, he's so bad I can't watch. Yeah. He was, of all of them, he was just the one I would say was the weakest and weakest link per se. It's just not my style. I know a lot of these are caricatures yeah. and they're heightened. For uh, sure. Because it's kind of like, because a, a, a lot of it is told in a memory. Right. Uh, and so... It, uh, I think it was a director choice to have them kind of over the top almost. But they got so um, small in the dramatic spots. Um, but like they got small. That in guy the you were talking spot. about, I I was not a fan of the professor. I thought virus. He, yeah, I was not. I liked him a lot. I I understand. I liked his lisp. Like they wanted it over the top, but I yeah. don't think it was needed. Um, I think he would have gotten just as much, if not more, of uh, a hatred. It almost just seemed kind of silly. Uh, what he was doing, as opposed to uh, see, I'm, I, I like Three Stooges and all that. Well, stuff. so do I. So, but but it, it, that's how I viewed him as being. He, it didn't fit. Ridiculous, a caricature. It didn't fit to me. Um, but I would change, obviously, the runtime. Oh, I, I didn't judge as too difficult. I, I kind of equated to almost like a '90s American film, like a Ten Things I Hate About You. A lot of right. the characters are very heightened and over the top. Sure, yeah, good uh, example. And all that kind of stuff. Uh, but that one's a lot shorter. I, I uh, liked this way more than I was expecting to, and it's not because I wasn't expecting it to be good. I was hoping. Yeah, I we heard it was good. Great. We heard it was good, and I was hoping it was going to be good. And because they shift gears so much, yeah, right. Because of that, and because we were shocked with that guy who killed himself, I, I had this. I had Game of Thrones uh, mm. condition going on where the moment the baby was born mm -hmm. and wasn't moving, I thought, "You pig, you." You did it, didn't you? She, it's stillborn. I was hoping you're gonna, gonna stay dead. Great. No, I wasn't. You know what I was doing? I, I, I was saying out loud. I was hoping. I was like, out loud. No, I was gonna like, be even better. No, if they do that, and if they did do that, it would have blown my mind. Yeah. But you know what I was doing? Mm. I was, ye I was almost yelling at my screen, telling them, "Say all is well. <laughs> Say all is well. <laughs> Say all is well." That was the ending I wanted. And they yeah. gave it to me. Yeah, I understand why they did everything. I loved it. I thought the whole message, and it was a very uplifting film, but also a very, yeah. they, even though it was uplifting, it was a very important, and they touched on subjects I've never seen almost touched in. Yes. Even in American even films. Even in American films. Uh, even, and there's a lot of uh, depression and suicide. Yep. Um, but it's obviously not as much the school part of it. It's uh, And we have pressures in the educational system. They're not nearly like this. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, I loved it. I loved all the twists. I love all the, 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 when he hung himself, when the guy just randomly jumped out the window. Yeah. The oh, that I thought he was gone. Yeah. The confrontation with his parents. Yeah. Then the, the, the job scene. Oh, uh, that was which so was, good. Which was great as well. So yeah, I loved it. All those, um, and, and how about, come on, come on, the romantic in you. When she's walking toward him and you're flashing back to his voice and he's saying, when I dream of you, you come to me off the scooter mm -hmm. and you're not wearing a veil, you take off your helmet. I love that. That was great. I love that. Amir Khan did amazing. Amazing. Uh, so did she. She so was beautiful. I'm, I'm, I wanna she was kinda, believable. I want to watch uh, other stuff. Uh, Dangle. Yeah. Uh, or Dangle, whatever it is. Uh, and the PK is apparently another yeah, one. I'd love to see him in other stuff. So anyways, yeah. let us know. Uh, I'd give it like a, what a four, 4.5 out of five star. Absolutely. Yeah, it's like one that. of my favorite. It, of, the, of the films I've seen in the past five years, it's at the top for me. Yeah. Yeah. movies I've seen. So, yeah. yeah. Let us know uh, what else, uh, what other films we should watch next. Yeah. KGF, apparently it's on Amazon Prime. Maybe we should watch that one. Uh, another Mirror Khan one. Please let us know down in the comments. We can watch Gangs of Wasserper if we've got a week to do nothing. <laughs>